Mm-hmm. Really All right, what, what, he's talking about night owl or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, <clears throat> All right, well, first of all, thank you all for coming here. This is yeah. a uh, classic movie that uh, was shot in the summer of 1978, entirely on the streets of New York City, uh, which is something that really doesn't happen anymore. Um, there's a lot of things that are in this film that just don't happen anymore in cinema. Uh, and uh, one of those, I don't know, have, have, have all of you seen it before? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> You've all seen it before. You notice that in this film, uh, it is right on the edge of the time when everybody in the world was carrying a gun. All the gangbangers carried guns. They're all semi-automatics, automatics, all blasting each other to bits. This was back in the day when it was still barely conceivable that guys and gals in this might actually get together and, and fight with their fists. Uh, you know, and the occasional baseball bat and chain, <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, and, and that's why in this that the, the, the gun that comes out is what uh, uh, differentiates Luther and the rogues from all the other gangs that are basically kind of like good guys. Uh, it, is, it is the gunplay in this, and that also was inspired by the Japanese film Yojimbo, uh, where there's one guy with a gun in a land of people that carry swords. Um, this movie has a lot of mythic uh, elements. Uh, it is based on something called Xenophon's March of the Ten Thousand, which uh, chronicles uh, the journey of a, a, a stranded band, small band of Greek warriors that are trying to fight their way home uh, across Persia. And that's, that's what we're doing. We're stranded way in the Bronx and we're trying to fight our way home to the sea. Um, those are two of the elements as to why I believe the Warriors has managed to have a life and, and still be entertaining to people that weren't even born when it was made. Uh, it's a 40 year old film. It was my second feature film I was 24 years old when I made it. I'm 64 years old now. And I am uh, discovering and rediscovering that, that people love this film just as much now as they did back then. And those are a couple of story elements why. We have women in this film that are, that are bona fide gang members. We have black and white gang, which is uh, basically you know, unheard of. Our gang is a mixed gang. And, uh, you know, we wear very identifiable costumes where everybody knows who's who. You know, there's not a lot of, there's no guerrilla warfare, there's none of that stuff. And so this appeals to a lot of the sensibilities, you know, really on a very visceral level of, of, of people that are trying to get, get, get along and get ahead and get by and, you know, fight their way through this world. Um, what you're going to see is an example of a movie that was shot entirely at night, except for the final two weeks. Um, which were shot on, down on Coney Island. Uh, we had very short nights because it was the summer. You're going to see the sweat that we're sweating is real sweat. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of a vibe of what it was actually like on the streets of New York City in 1978. Um, and it was uh, kind of a dirty ragtag time, but it was also a very beautiful, antiquated, uh, nostalgic time for me. The film... The Warriors uh, is shot on film, and it was a new film stock put out by Kodak that had uh, exceptional color saturation, which means that that film stock was uh, able to pick up a lot of light in, in low light conditions. Uh, our DP was a guy named Andy Laszlo, and Andy Laszlo uh, uh, selected this stock, and I guess was instrumental in his development, so that the colors in The Warriors, in spite of it being shot at night, are very, very rich. And, and the movie has a way, if you're, if you're quiet and you just kind of get with it, of kind of sucking you into the screen. Because it's, it's, it's got that, that, that black on black feel of the night, and yet it's, it's illuminated by these characters and, and, and you can really see them. Um, so there's, there's the element of, of film, you know, that's basically gone. A lot of movies, a lot of the big movies still shoot on film to back it up because the quality of film is, is a little different than digital. Um, but this is a film that was shot on film, and it was shot at night, it was shot on location in New York City, and like I was saying, a lot of these things and these elements just don't happen anymore. And it's with a cast of complete unknowns. There's, there's nobody that you ever recognized who was ever in a movie before uh, in, in this movie, and 
A number of us went on to have uh, uh, illustrious careers, some of us not so much. Uh, I've managed to stick around, you know, for 40 years as a professional actor. And, um, you know, I don't want to wear this out too much. I mean, are we, are we okay? Yeah. Um, you know, so, so obviously this has got, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of memory and a lot of depth and a lot of meaning uh, for me. It's not my only film. I've made 100 feature films. But The Warriors is a, is a very special film. And, you know, when I say that it's a cast of unknowns, this was back in the day in New York City when you had a very vibrant theater community. You had actors from all over the world who were trying to get a break and trying to get on the New York stage and learn the acting craft. So, you know, we would go and we'd watch, we would watch like, you know, pimps and hookers on the corner of 8th Avenue to see how they behaved. This is what method actors did back then. You know, we were all method actors, Al Pacino and whom I, whom I worked with in my next film after this in, in Cruising. You know, uh, and, and, and we were very dedicated to the craft, which is something that you don't see as much or as, as, as across such a broad spectrum. This is truly a film of the 70s, of the late 70s, when, when, when acting and story and, and, and content is what drove the movies. Nowadays, it's more effects. Uh, um, and, and, and while they have their place, the story-driven movie, um, for me, is still the most effective way to tell a story. You know, you come away from it and you're like, wow, you're emotionally moved. Um, and, and so you, you have these actors that, there were thousands of us. And we all went to this building called the Gulf Western Building. Um, at Columbus Circle, which is now a Trump Tower. Uh, and uh, yeah, things do change. <laughs> um, and on top of the Gulf Western Building was, was Paramount. And, and Paramount was owned by that oil company back then, Gulf Western. And we all went up to the top of the, you know, like, wow, we're on the top of the Gulf Western. You know, a thousand actors. And each of us went into the room in our turn and auditioned for these parts. And, you know, when I came out of there, I was so fucking sure that I blew it. I was like, oh God, what did I do? Because I gave a really big performance that. And I'm going to the elevator, and the casting director runs around the corner, and he says, James. And I'm like, yeah, don't cut your hair. And I knew that I got the job. It was very exciting, you know, and, 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 and that's a moment that happened 40 years ago that leads to this moment here and now. The Warriors is a very textured movie. It's a very rich movie. I hope someday you get to see it with a theatrical film print on a screen. Um, it, this is going to be a nice experience because it's so good, and the, the screen is a good quality screen. But if you ever have a chance, if you like this movie, and there's a midnight screening of it somewhere, somehow, where they actually film it with a print, screen it with a print, uh, by all means, just, just go for it. This is 88 minutes long. Uh, it feels like it's much, much longer, not because uh, it's dragging and it's boring, but because it's so exciting, you feel like you've really been taken on a long journey where everybody participates to the fullest. So without further ado, as they say, I thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy it. This is the movie that basically started my career, and uh, without it, I wouldn't be here standing in front of you today, and it's a thing that I'm happy and proud to do. I hope you enjoy this movie. It is one of my favorites. It is one of the great studio films of the, of the 1970s, back when, when studios made their own films. The 20th Century Fox, Columbia, all those guys, they don't really make their own movies anymore. This is a Paramount movie made at Paramount as a Paramount studio flick. And it was a tiny movie. It was a low-budget film, and yet it's got their stamp on it, and it's part of their library. And so I introduce, with great pride and pleasure, The Warriors. Woo!